Okay, Coach Scott. Right. Thank you all. Okay, the, the first thing we're going to, uh, Nathan, uh, is we just won't go step back and forward. So this is what we're going to be doing is mirroring each other's footsteps in them. And I, I don't even have any hands and you see what happened to his whole, <laughs> whole body. Okay, so a lot of times our hands get us in trouble. So this first part is just, you're gonna extend him like this and everything, get that kazushi and everything, okay? So the, for those who don't do uh, judo, this is really good. And then we'll get into some throws and everything, but this is very important. Just mirroring their footsteps. It's really weird. <laughs> it's using that full mo momentum just to get him <laughs> That Kazushi and everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and pair up, preferably somebody experienced and somebody is not. And and do that. We'll do that for about uh, six minutes and then we'll get into some throws and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. No. Okay. That's no problem. So I'll go ahead and back up a little bit. So go ahead and get your grips. Uh, okay, so just go ahead and step forward and back with your, yeah, just mirror his foot like that. Oh, I want it like that. Good. So with your other hand, since you're new to judo, it's going to be right up under the elbow, right up under here. Okay. So go ahead and step forward and back uh, like that. So right here, what I want you is just do that. If you feel how you're off balance, in there, okay, go ahead and go forward and back. Mm -hmm. So when he comes forward, just do like that. See? <laughs> okay. That is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we just, what I'm having to do is just mirroring footsteps and all that good stuff in there. <laughs> Get that Kazuchi. Okay, Mate. <clears throat> okay, that's it, man. Huh? So, uh, no, right here. Oh, oh, we'll turn this way then. Okay, off of that, in the sense of mirroring the footsteps and everything, the first throw that you're going to get into is O Soto. O Soto has changed over the years. Okay, when I was uh, in the Army, Ost Soto was done leg up and exploding <laughs> as Achilles tendon. Okay, we, all, we had boots on, so that's what we did uh, back in 71. And everything. So it has progressed from that to a half step here and drawing a circle with your big toe like this and just dropping it down, okay? Okay, when you point your toe, it locks all the muscles in your leg and it's just like a two before when it's hit you. So you don't want your leg bent when you're doing your old subtle. So half step here, notice how he's in a spine lock. If you wanna get up and put your shoulder on his, it's even worse. Drawing a circle with your big toe, knee to knee contact. Okay. Now, if you're, you know, 
got to turn around. You're dealing with a bigger guy. Sometimes you get up there and right there, lock up and everything. Instead of going knee to knee, what you do is go right below his buttocks right there. And it's a big fall. Okay. Like I said, you got some people that are just like trees, they get, and you go, so try to get knee to knee. If they don't go down knee to knee, you're bringing that leg right up under the buttocks. It's a nerve that runs down your leg and it'll make them jump up in the air, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, over here, go. Well, that's two. Okay, right there, so take half step. No, right here. Okay, now bring your leg around and just follow through, bring your foot through and, and think about and think about sitting on your butt. That's all you have to do is just think about sitting on your butt. That's, that's in order to take that fall, okay? Mm -hmm. There was a point there where I felt completely wrong and probably because my balance was Right, yeah, so I don't want that foot to go all the way back. I want you to take a, now right, bring that foot over a little bit. Right there was where that foot should be. Now draw a circle with your big toe around. Okay, you're going from knee to knee. There you go. Okay. And that's perfect. And that's, that's perfect right there, okay? Okay. Mm. Okay, yeah, so turn that. Mm. I think it's going to go back or forward. Okay, so go ahead. Go ahead and just back off a little bit. Now, let me work with him. Let okay. me show you what you're supposed to be doing. So right here and everything. So what you're going to be doing is stepping back with the left foot. Okay, so you... <laughs> yeah, so that's why... I, and then right here, <laughs> you feel like you're a little yeah. bit, a little bit vulnerable and everything. You want to get hip to hip right here, and bring, bring that foot around. <laughs> there you go, nice, nice Yukimi. And if you think about sitting on your butt, all you do is bruise your butt and everything. And everything. You're not going to get hurt. And your chin's in your, in your chest and everything. Let's go ahead. And, mm. Yeah, beautiful fall. Yeah, that's it right there. And everybody has a good time. You start <laughs> ripping and pulling. Okay, move over here a little bit. Oh, right. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so what? When you're doing your different osotos, well, you're gonna be. You, this is a basic osoto right here. Well, you got the shoulder on this shoulder. Got in spine lock. You're bringing that big toe all the way around and ripping them apart. Okay. The, uh, the way Tokyo Horano did it, he would describe things in waves of going up and down like this and everything. If anybody's been close to the ocean, you've seen waves coming into shore and everything. So what he's doing is as you're stepping forward and back, here to take you down and then bring you up and then rip you, okay? There's very little of that foot that's involved. It's that down and up type of action. Okay, I, th I think he, it was in the 50s, he had over 2,000 epons mm. <laughs> over there in Europe, just doing this type of action, down up. Did you see a foot in there? No, you did not. But you get a foot in there, in the sense of that timing, I want to take it all the way up <laughs> there. 
but you can really rip them apart. And the description of that wave in the sense of going down and then up like that, you're doing that with your hands, which is a circular type of motion, and your hips. So as he's stepping forward, you're going down and then coming up like this. You see how he's on one foot, most of his weight is right here. So all I have to do is just touch and it goes down. Okay. Go ahead and try that. You got about, uh, I'll let you have 20 minutes to play. Hmm? In one movement. Oh, yeah. No, don't, mean, don't, don't murder me, but yeah. at least, you know. Are you going down up? Yep, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up, Kirby? How are you? Nathan, uh, da 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 da. Uh, let's turn around. <laughs> so, uh, so when you're doing this in the sense of going down and up and you're taking them down, I call this the business area. Okay, so for the first thing you want to do is, is trap his arm with your, with your knees and everything. Okay, go ahead and pull it out of there. Yeah, there we go. And then I go up on her. I do that compression type of arm bar and everything. So it's only two things the arm can do. It can be straight or it can be bent. I like the compression in the sense of pulling him up and catching a tap out. <laughs> and then, you know, right here. Okay. Because of my long legs, I don't like to go into juji, but you guys can go into juji and then I like this go to this corner right here. This right here is good. This right here is even better, okay? And you can just do it slowly going over. And I can do like this with one finger. If you got your knees squeezed together like this, some people like to go up under the head, get the shoulder up like that. Like I said, Notice the position that his arm is in, and I haven't even grabbed or done anything like that. He can feel the blood getting, <laughs> is being, uh, going right up to his finger nails right here. He can feel that blood going up there. And all I have to do is just, just like that. Okay. Some people go exaggerate and do all this stuff in there, and you don't need all that stuff. Unless you want to break the arm and everything. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times, what I like to do is just hug like that. And I stop before he taps because I can feel the tendons and muscles in his arm. If you've done it enough, you know when to stop. <laughs> Unless you are just bad. Okay, you can get into the little finger up. I can go over here and get it, I can go over there and get it, or I can go straight down. Because he's going to be wiggling that arm, yeah I, can, yeah, I can get it right there, also, okay. You don't care, it's on moving around like that. Until he turns toward me, go ahead and turn toward me, now that's the way that you're getting out, supposedly. <laughs> Okay. So it's kind of like winding up a watch. You don't care what they do. You have a solution or something close there up to it and everything. But always treat okay with respect. Be gentle. Because you can easily hurt them. Your, arm, your legs are stronger than his arms. So as long as you're doing it slowly, they have time to tap out okay because you don't want to hit it pop. then you hear that blood curdling scream <laughs> <laughs> okay so do it yeah but you, you're not talk, you didn't say anything about the ninth one <laughs> the, the arm could be disarticulated in nine 
different spots. So that's a legal term, but not teaching you to break arms. <laughs> <laughs> Disarticulate is what you're supposed to use. In there. Okay, so go ahead and do that. If you have any issues, just raise your hand, and I'll be glad to help you. Do it slowly, methodically. Now we're going to get into one of my favorite throws. It's real easy throw. It's Koshigaruma. So what I like to do is go down this line right here, which is the left foot, and it's the right foot down that line right there. And what I'm doing is stepping forward with the right leg and taking him down. Very easy to throw, throw to do and everything. It's a variation off of your old ghost and everything. So again, my left leg goes out like that. If they weigh more than you do, all you have to do is just slide that leg out even more and just take them down. Koshigaruma. Okay, the way the Japanese like to throw it, they like to step right there in the middle and go way over here. Okay, either way is correct. But it's called Koshi Guruma. I love that though. You get it on. <laughs> so you got 20 minutes to play around with it. Yeah. Huh? Can you fill me up? Okay, right there, all you do is just go just like that. Okay, so we get what we're getting into now is your favorite, which is Jigatai. And everybody get, so yeah, with Jigatai, what you're doing is you got four corners, four 90 degree corners. Ah, oh, let's turn around this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be photogenic. So what you're trying to do is collapse those 90s. It's kind of like a cardboard box when you get up and push down on it. That's what you're doing in order to penetrate that. So if I get up there and just turn my left foot like this, oh, I've already collapsed that box and everything. And then there's it. Oh, so took already. Okay, again. If I'm like this, and I just do an open hip with that left foot, and I'm doing it very slowly so you can see his <laughs> left shoulders. Anyway. Okay, he's fighting and fighting. And, oh, oh. Oh. That's a long way to go. <laughs> yeah. So it's. It's done on the beginner phase all the way up to the advanced phase and everything. All you're doing is just opening the, the hip up and everything. Very simple, but very complex. Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, this is all the same jigatab, but we're going down and now. We're going down and down. <laughs> all this crazy stuff. So, what you're gonna be doing off of this and everything, is bringing your right elbow toward your solar plexus. Just like that. Okay. <laughs> and bring him back. Okay, what it is, is you're creating a triangle, okay, with your elbow. So again, you're down like this, and you bring your right elbow to your solar plexus like this. And he, he will move anywhere from one to three steps to try to recover his balance and everything. So you already know what he's going to do before he, he does it and everything. So we're out like this and everything. I do long, oh, oh. Yeah, just like that. So you, you always want to take care of Luke. Okay? You don't want to hurt him and everything. So the, now the other one, this is where I call, where was a we was at a clinic and it was a guy that asked Carl, well, what do you do when he's, he's way down here like this? And Carl said, come on up here. And I said, oh boy, <laughs> it's gonna be bad. And everything. So what Carl did to the guy and everything, he just stepped back and walked him <laughs> like that. He dog walked him. 
you know, it, Carl was like that, you know, in the sense of if you were going to ask him a, a question like that, and you know, Oklahoma and Texas, wrestling states and everything, so you're going to encounter things like that. So that was his solution to it. And, then, and when he asked the question, you can see the room saying, oh, <laughs> this is going to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, just just dog walk him and everything. Uh, you can do a goblet step uh, for those who do, do a, keto, a keto, getting off that line, and that's what made De uh, Nathan get up there and jump through there and fall. And everything. Okay, it's coming like that, and I just done a goblet step, whoop, boom, just like that. And okay, so these are simple things in the sense of jigger tie and everything. Okay. And uh, I'll teach you others from Martel Zegnick, how he handled Jigata and all like that. Bob, the way he handled it. Okay, so go ahead and work that. Uh, okay, Nathan. So we're still in Jigata and everything. I'm correcting you for the camera. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's no big deal. I say, well, you got old Bob Ray. This is what he he called the uh, uh, the barber pole. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna take us half a step forward, turn your hip like this. Oh. Woo! <laughs> so right here we're in jigger tie. So like I said, we're doing a, a half a step forward. Closing the hip like that. Oh, okay. And this can be done from, you know, the static, uh, or we're moving around like that, you know, when we're running like that. Okay. So the moving around can be real dynamic in a sense of what happens to you. Let me get a, a Joe up here so you can help me have a prop so you can see it better. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> so go ahead and just hold that right there. So what I'm doing is just putting my foot around like this, a closed <laughs> hip. And I got two fingers right here, don't I? <laughs> So that's what you're doing is the extreme closed hip and everything. You like this and you're doing an extreme closed hip. And then you're controlling the shoulders as you're walking them around. Like I said, it can be done from jigger tie or a run door, you're just moving around and everything. Like I said, when you're moving around, that's, that's why I like it. It's real dynamic in the sense of what they do in the air. So, with Bob, when he competed and everything, he was with, at the super heavyweights, you know, the 300 pounders and everything. So, so that's the only thing he could do to, to move them biggins around, you know. Or okeyism, biggins around. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep it clean, you know, you got, got tape and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like I said, we could be moving around and do like that. Yeah. So he's already <laughs> where I want him at. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and do the do. So we're getting into uh, up to Zegnik and everything. Okay, so you're in the jigger tail like this, and what you're doing is the right arm is coming up under your left arm like this. You can see what's happening to his whole posture. Then the right arm comes back and goes up Whoa. under his arm. And then executing your throw. It could be a hip throw, it could be koshiwaza, tewaza, and everything. The post on the twitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so again, you're in jigatai. The right arm comes up under the left arm. Notice how his shoulder is tilted. Then the right arm comes up under his shoulder like that. Then 
This is where you can do the tatosh. Oh, goshi. You can get a uh, haragosh. But this is what Martel Zeknik was showing when he was up there for a clinic and everything. Okay. Okay. A lot of guys were here when I was, when uh, we were doing the clinic. And they said, Where did you learn that from? I said, The same place that you're supposed to learn it from. <laughs> you were here too. So sometimes you have to take notes and everything, but uh, this is real crazy and what he did and everything, just go one, two, <laughs> like that and everything. Yeah, breaking them down. <laughs> okay, on this one, this is where he has a, a deaf grip right here and with that with his left arm. And all I'm doing is just bringing it right here. I'm just dropping it, dropping that on. Okay, so again, the right arm, I'm just bringing it to my hip. Woo. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> and once you do that, uh, do it slowly, don't try to hurt. Okay, of course I'm looking at you. <laughs> I got my one eye, good eye on. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm bringing it down here and I'm turning my hips. Oh, oh, then when he recovers, oh. <laughs> you can get into all kind of beautiful photos right there. But uh, the big part of it, you kind of, with that right arm of yours, you kind of bait him like that so he can yeah. snatch that arm up. I'm baiting the cedar. So when I push, he pulls and I drop. Ooh. <laughs> then I can come back and get him. Okay. See, I didn't expand that that terror. See, I'm not like Kirby. <laughs> but it's it is crazy in the sense so when you do that, what they do, try all it is is if you real anal and all like that, why well, what's going on physically? I, I run across people like that. The explanation is that it's just like a coral spring. Okay, got all that tension, and when I drop it down, I'm releasing that tension, and it goes with it. Okay, that's the simplest explanation you can have as to what's going on and everything. But when you got, especially with big guys, they get that death grip on like that, and pop, oh God. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you pop them on the head, man. Thump them in the eye. <laughs> okay, go ahead and try that one. That's <laughs> Oklahoma is a wrestling in a football state. So let's get into that classic hook behind like that. Yeah. Yeah, you got. I don't like that. I'm scared. Well, like I said, <laughs> Oklahoma, Texas, we all wrestling football states. And what you're going to be doing with your head is going under like this and then over, grab, and just go, whoo! But that's illegal in, in tournament stuff. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it used to be illegal where you do a walk at the time because you... <laughs> so all I'm doing is dropping my head under like this, bringing the left arm up. I can trap it right here. Then bring that arm over and take it down like that, and then I can just whee! <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, go ahead and try that. That'll be the last one for the night.